Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hetamova. On November 20, official welcome ceremony was held for President of the Republic of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, who is on an official visit to the Republic of Azerbaijan. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev welcomed President of Iraq Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid. Karul Faraha, soldan garşlamak için Karula, ol. The Chief of the Guard of Honor reported to the President of Iraq. Zanab Iraq Respublikası'nın Prezidenti, sizin Azerbaycan Respublikası'na gelmeniz şerefine Fakri Karul Zülü. The heads of state reviewed the Guard of Honor. The national anthems of the Republic of Iraq and the Republic of Azerbaijan were played. The delegation of Azerbaijan was introduced to the President of Iraq while the delegation of Iraq was introduced to the President of Azerbaijan.
The Guard of Honor marched in front of the President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, and President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, to be accompanied by a military march. The heads of state posed for official photos. President Ilham Aliyev held a one-on-one -on -one meeting with President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid. The head of state recalled the Iraqi president's visit to Azerbaijan and the meeting they held on the sidelines of the summit of the non-aligned movement. Expressing satisfaction with the Iraqi president's first official visit to Azerbaijan, President Ilham Aliyev said he is confident that this visit and the discussions to be held during the visit would make a significant contribution to further development of relations between the two countries. The head of state said that a meeting of the Joint Commission on Economic, Trade, Scientific, Technical and Cultural Cooperation would be held in Iraq soon, adding that it would play an important role in further expanding economic and trade relations. The president of Iraq underlined his country's determination to further develop relations with Azerbaijan, noting that the documents to be signed as part of the visit will significantly contribute to the expansion of ties. During the meeting, the sides emphasized that both countries always supported each other's positions within international organizations. They noted that Azerbaijan and Iraq had suffered from occupation, but this situation had become history. During the conversation, the president pointed out that there are favorable opportunities for the development of cooperation between the two countries in the fields of economy, energy, culture, science, education and tourism. The head of our state then held an expanded meeting with President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid. Mr. President, dear guests, once again welcome to Azerbaijan. We already had a very good discussion with Mr. President on different issues of our cooperation, uh, political development in our regions. And uh, now the delegations will continue uh, to address important issues. Uh, next month, our delegation will visit Iraq to participate at the Joint Economic Commission. So we already discussed partly issues of our uh, trade and economic and energy agenda. So first of all, we are very happy to host Mr. President in Azerbaijan on official visit. And uh, this is a very remarkable event in the history of our bilateral relations. So it's the first official visit of uh, President of Iraq uh, to Azerbaijan since Azerbaijan uh, became independent country. And I'm sure that the visit will produce very good results. So now we'll continue to address important issues of economic uh, trade cooperation and I'm sure that uh, this will be also a good contribution to good results uh, at the meeting in Baghdad next month. So once again, Mr. President, welcome. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. It's always good to see you and it's very good to take your advice on a number of issues, on uh, strengthening relationship, on trade, on politics, and on the world affairs as well, which is really, uh, we are very determined to uh, even strengthen our relationship between the two countries. And we are looking forward to receive your delegation next month, I think it's next month, yes. and hope it will be very fruitful all the visits to Azerbaijan is fruitful. And uh, our delegation today are very keen to even sign some, I think, some memorandum of understanding yes. between the two countries. A ceremony of signing documents was held with the participation of President Ilham Aliyev and President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid. Minister of Labor and Social Protection of Population of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Sahil Babayev, and Minister of Labor and Social Affairs of the Republic of Iraq, Ahmed Jassim Saber al-Assadi, signed the Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation between the Minister of Labor and Social Protection of Population of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Minister of Labor and Social Affairs of the Republic of Iraq. 
Chairman of the State Tourism Agency of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Fuad Nagiev, and Chairman of the Tourism Authority of the Republic of Iraq, Zafer Mahdi, signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Tourism between the State Tourism Agency of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Minister of Culture, Tourism and Antiquities of the Republic of Iraq. Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Jehum Bayramov, and Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Iraq, Mohammed Hussein Bahra al ulum signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Political Consultations between the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Iraq. Minister of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Rashad Nabiyev, and Head of the Civil Aviation Authority of the Republic of Iraq, Imad al-Assadi, signed the Air Services Agreement between the Government of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Government of the Republic of Iraq. President Ilham Aliyev and President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, made press statements. An official lunch was hosted on behalf of President Ilham Aliyev in honor of President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid. November 20 marks the Agdam City Day. This day is celebrated for the first time in Azerbaijan. According to the decrees signed by President Ilham Aliyev on 31 July this year, Agdam City Day will be solemnly celebrated every year on 20 November. The establishment of this significant date is connected with the liberation of the city from Armenian occupation. Three years have passed since the city was liberated as a result of the brilliant victory in the Panadoc War. Due to the fact that Ahdam was completely mined by the enemy and the majority of the Armenian occupation forces were concentrated here, the Azerbaijani army did not carry out any large-scale military operations in this direction. Currently, large-scale reconstruction and restoration work is underway in the area and new infrastructure is being built. Now the revived city awaits the return of its true owners, the people of Ahdam. Azerbaijan and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will jointly fight against corruption. A memorandum of understanding between the Oversight and Anti-Corruption Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and General Prosecutor's Office of Azerbaijan was signed. The delegation led by the President of the Oversight and Anti-Corruption Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mazin bin Ibrahim al kamus started their program to Azerbaijan by familiarizing themselves with the Hidayat Aliyev Center. The familiarization with the stands reflecting the life and activity of the distinguished statesman left a good impression on them. The visit continued with meeting with the General Prosecutor Kamran Aliyev. The party stressed in particular the reforms implemented in Azerbaijan and the digitalization of the activities of Hassan Khidmat and those centers. Taking into account that Mazin bin Ibrahim al kamus is the president of the Oversight and Anti-Corruption Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the modern and transparent processes established in our country sparked his interest. The guests drew attention to this issue in particular. With the signatures, both countries commenced their joint fight against bribery and corruption. Of course, the support and joint activity at the international plane meets the interests of both countries. The visit of the delegation to Azerbaijan continues. You can get in touch with us by contacting Gazet of a hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.